Hey guys, Alexander Tiemia, and welcome back to part 3 of our Ireland slash Dublin campaign on CK3. So last time out, we took uh, Leinster and uh, Athlone. We had a son named Henry, so his line's a bit more secure now. We're still allied with Ulster, and I believe we were saving up 250 gold to make the Duchy of Dublin, which we're going to continue to do now. So let's up the speed a little bit. So our wife is pregnant again. And you became the cultural head of the Irish culture. Oh, nice to know. Oh, so someone's took his place. That didn't last for very long. So we have, uh, yeah, we can declare war on him for what? Yeah, so we could declare war and get that title off him. Which I think we could do. Has he got any allies? No. Outnumbered him by quite a bit. So, did we put a claim on that? I can't remember. Oh, so what would the claim be? Let's have a look. The claim would be... To gain the title. The old them off but we haven't got a claim on that, so why is it letting us do it? Oh yes we have, sorry. We've got a claim here for that. Okay. Let's go attack him then. We don't want to be giving that opportunity up. Two minutes. I don't know what I've clicked on here, that's better. Go back to Austria. Declare war your claims, yeah. There's all here. Let's go with dear friend. To come to war. Yeah, he's accepted. So yeah, I'll go attack him in there. Are our allies going to get there in time? Let's have a look. They are moving in now. However, they did pretty well to hold us off then. Oh, so we've had another wounded knight. Or is it this time? The quail is, uh, is disfigured. He's got one eye, I'm wounded, not good. Nothing we can really do about that. Let's continue this battle. As the door opens, uh, oh. We've lost the sun, which is not nice. Don't know what we can do. Seize this down quickly. Not far off the gold amount either now. He's going to come back and attack us again. Maybe. We have got Iron Man enabled, so we will get a lot of auto saving. Yeah, this should be an easy one. Almost there. The cars. If it is a para, if it is bond for cars you are interested in, I can build you a terrific one, my lord. Build the photos there. Got good credentials, and my courtiers seem to be excited about the prospect. No, we don't really want to lose gold. Okay, so we've taken that. Enforce demands on him. So be it. And 
First thing we want to do is drop a zone on there because we don't want to be paying for it. And then create the duchy of Meath. But we're going to change that straight away to the duchy of Dublin. Just so I know better what to do. We could create the second one, but we've got no need of that. Empty council positions, we need a new chancellor. So let's have a look at the skills. Yeah, we'll put him in charge then. And a new spy master. Yeah, and we'll assign him, even though he's disfigured. Okay, so we're looking a little bit better now. We're on par with some of these others. Which is good. And should we... Have these got any allies? No, we could move in there. And take that straight away as well. Can we change any... Laws again? When would we be able to change that? 1086, so that's another 13 years. Before we can do that. So I think what we'll do, we'll carry on with the expansion and we'll get a claim on our dear friend briefing. I'm not saying it correct, but that's what I meant. So we just got an achievement moving up in the world, which is, let's have a quick look. No, it hasn't updated yet on the thingy, but have a look at that. I think, is that not for creating a title, maybe? Yeah, possibly for going from account level to duke level. We've unlocked a new perk, which we definitely want to put on. Yeah, monthly tyranny is always good. So... Oh, and then more, four more points, and we'll have the administrator skill. Could do with a few more children while you've only got the one. Your line of succession is never safe. So, is England currently at war with anyone? No. Scotland, Scotland's got no allies either, has Scotland got any children, like a daughter, no, or princes, no worries, we'll keep on with this claim, take Briev, and then move into Oriel, and maybe take our ally out, Ulster, We got anything? No, we can't do anything to him either. But we have got four castles now. We've got Dublin. Why is that still called like that? I don't understand. If I click on that, uh, that's still spelled like that. But we want it like that. Bit of OCD when it comes to naming. Elden of Dublin. The Castle of Dublin. The Duchy of Dublin. Looks nicer. Yeah, so we've got Leinster. This is another big county. All these areas where we can build stuff. Sorry, just the one. So this has got four. You've got the main castle of Gar Garmin. And build one more in Dublin. One more in Athlone. We've got two buildings in the uh, Hosea. Good. Quite happy with that. Yeah. Ooh, send for a physician. Our son has got consumption. Definitely don't want to be losing. Yeah, we'll definitely spend gold. Uh, 
Oh yeah, so the treatment worked. An empty council position again. Must have died of the wounds. Dangerous faction. Peasant rubble. Okay, if they rise up, we'll just put them down. That's not a problem. So, to the awesome petty king. Who's this? No. We're definitely going to fight them. We're not having any peasants telling us what to do. We're a duke and I'd lord. We'll go crush him. Who's the commander? Yeah. Good lick. Oh, our son is charming. Very nice. Can we put these down? Yeah, they look like we've taken the advantage here. I've lost a few though. Yeah. We'll stand the army down. And we'll enforce demands on this peasant. So, to the vile King Alexander. Because we're a petty king in Ireland, you class as a petty king, not a Jew. May your years be short and miserable. I know when I am defeated, seems I am left with no choice but to comply. Okay, what options do we have for this guy now? So he has no gold or nothing. Should we execute him? We're getting 10 dread. He's known as a criminal, so we won't be viewed as a tyrant for killing him. And is dead now. Good. Hopefully that'll stop peasants in the future trying to come and fight us. But time will only tell. So is he got a claim on the old um, or what? Hmm. That might be worth keeping an eye on. So, Alice Thompson, got no legacies yet, we're still an obscure family, so hopefully over time we can increase that and become a mighty family. The objective really is to play this till, four, is it 14 summer, 1442 or something stupid, it finishes and that's when we can continue to. I think then you convert it over to EU4, which we're not going to do. We're going to stay playing games on this. I never like converting it in the first place. Who's this then? Our bishop, I'm assuming. Yes, it is. I've the, I have prowled through documents, both ancient and... Oh, yes, yeah, so has he got the claim? He has. That's good. We are a little bit in debt now, so we will have to continue time before we can declare war on them. I think uh, after, is it briefing? We'll go for Oriel and then connect us to our friend. Maybe he will join us into our kingdom. Okay, so our wife is pregnant again. Hopefully this time she won't lose the kid. Could really use a kid. Another kid, sorry. We've got charming uh, Alexander here. Who will be, uh, uh, will be uh, our leader one day. Ooh. So our marshal has insulted him gravely. That's the guy that owns this area here. I demand satisfaction. So we can slight him. Ah, yeah, haha. -ha. Good one, mate. Uh, we don't care. 
And uh, we've got the manpower, so we'll declare war on you. Take your title. There's the army. Ask our dear friend. Good, so he's joined. Let's go chase this army down. Can we save the day? Get in there. He's got better quality man. But we get him. Good. That'll get us some more. What did we get from that? I was actually fighting on wetlands. You do have terrain as well. I wasn't paying too much uh, attention to the terrain. But we'll have to have a look at that in the future. So we've got a daughter, I'm probably name this one, uh, good Christian, good Catholic name, Constance, okay, yeah, I can live with that. They're uh, taking quite a bit of damage from uh, their troops. Which is not good. Cancel that opinion, yeah. 20, 20 opinion more is a lot. Hopefully we can take this pretty fast before these do any damage. So we have got raiders coming over from the Scandinavian lands, I'm assuming. So we'll siege this down, then we'll probably put a cut in. He needs to be careful because he's going to lose his land. We're at 110. Ooh, accusations of witchcraft. Bloodstained clothes, crow's feathers, strange smelling concoctions. This is evidence presented. From Lysa, so who is she? Let's first of all find out who she is. So she's a Catholic Irish. She must burn for the crimes will gain under piety and satisfied peasants. Yeah, we're gonna take that option, 100 percent Right, hopefully we can seize this down before they take that. Maybe not there. Okay, so we've taken his land. Losing that land didn't affect the war score because it wasn't ours. But then force demands, there you go. So we've got five out of seven domains now, which is good. Right, I'll disband you. So yeah, looking pretty big. I think we'll go till January. Okay, yeah, so we've added a couple more counties. We've added Ossery and uh, Briefham. We'll look at Oriol and uh, Hailik next. Uh, get all the northern. I know we uh, first of all said we'd take the south, but it's how it's played out. So we'll take these. Hopefully get our friend to join us in our kingdom underneath us as an earl. And we'll be his overlord. And then we'll look at the bigger ones then. Of uh, Connacht and Munster. 
So that's my alarm going off. This I've been recording for almost 20 minutes. So yeah. Yeah, we're looking quite good. I'm quite happy in the position that we're in. So yeah, next episode, continue these wars in Ireland. Get Ireland under our belt. Get some stability going. Some growth. Start building up some of the castles and stuff. Get more men. And take it from there before we start invading into Scotland and England, etc. So, once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next part.